Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain various career options after ECE. If you if you had taken ECE in your engineering and not able to decide or not able to um, conclude on which path to choose, this is the video. I had mentioned all of the career options after ECE, and you can choose one among them which suits you. And I had taken EC in my engineering and I had taken one of the path mentioned here or one of the option I had mentioned here. I will explain what is that at the last of the video and which path I had chosen and where I am now. So initially if you are interested in uh, EC background you can go to course site and if you are interested to pursue your career in, in, in this background you, you have three options like private sector, government sector and higher studies. In private sector, you can join any of the semiconductor companies like Intel, Qualcomm, Nvidia, Synopsys, Arm, etc. There are many other sem big semiconductor companies which you go into. Practically, I will explain uh, what are the chances to go in here. Practically, if you are from tier 2 or tier 3 colleges, it is bit difficult to go into here. If you are from Tier 1 college, you can uh, get placement in these semiconductor companies from BTEC. So practically, uh, it is a bit difficult if you are from Tier 2, Tier 3 college. So I will explain how to get into here. If you are from Tier 2, Tier 3 college, I have uh, one more path mentioned here. So I will explain that. And the other option is startups. If you want to join directly from BTEC, and you, if you are from Tier 2, Tier 3 college, you can join some of the startups which which are in EC background. I can't mention those startup names, but there are many startups which will uh, which will uh, give jobs. So other is government sector. PSUs like ISRO, BSNL, Bell, AI, NPCL, etc. There are many PSUs which I had not mentioned here, but th these are the main PSUs. And how to get into these PSUs is through gate or through the exam conducted by that particular PSU, individual exam. If you are from, um, so some may, some may not be inter interested in private sector and may be interested in government sector. So they can write gate or uh, many of the PSUs uh, hired through GATE, so you can write GATE or uh, if you are interested in particular PSU, you can write that individual exam and get into that. If you and again I am mentioning here that if you uh, gain or if you uh, get only pretty decent score in GATE, then only you get you will get these PSUs. And the other option is higher studies. This is MTech in these mentioned options, VLSI design, embedded systems, digital communication, signal processing, etc. These are the various branches present in MTech under EC. Like there are some other branches also, but these are the most choosen, chosen options, very good branches. So the, uh, the option that I said, like I said, I'll say later is this option. If you are from Tier 2, Tier 3 college, you can pursue MTech in any of these branches and go here. This is the other way you get into these semiconductor companies. So for MTech, to do MTech in good colleges, you again you need to write GATE. Every NITs and IITs uh, give admissions through GATE only. If you get a very good score, you will uh, get admission in IITs or NITs and again uh, most of the semiconductor companies uh, hire through uh, from these colleges only may uh, very good companies if you are uh, again if you are doing mtech in some uh, tier 2 tier 3 college uh, if you are uh, pretty good in the topics you can get job in in these uh, in these companies so um, these are the various options uh, present in ECE background. These are very good options in ECE background and with 
pretty decent salary in each of the option i mentioned here you will get very decent salary and can get um, settle in future and if you are not interested in ec background i had mentioned some other options for the students who are not interested in ec background so again there are three options private government higher studies so we can join it companies like wipro tcs infosys etc there are many it companies if you are interested in that career path you can choose this or any other startups in non it non uh, core background like in it background and some other private jobs also like banking or private banks or some other private jobs other private jobs uh, and if you are interested in government sector so in banking sector uh, you can uh, you can choose uh, like banking sector and any of the other central government jobs like ies ias ips ifs etc and uh, to mention this particularly this is uh, related to core background ies i i missed to mention there this is core background ies is core remaining all other or central government jobs which are non uh, non related to core and uh, there are some ssc cgl exams etc if you study hard or prepare uh, hard prepare well you can uh, get in, into these jobs also and some other state government jobs which are released by each of those governments and higher studies you can do mba in non it background with some exams like cat etc and get into good college and get good jobs over there and the other is ms in non ec branch some will not be interested to pursue masters in uh, ec background and may be interested in co uh, csc background or some other um, options or some other branches so they can pursue ms in non ec branches these are the various other options in non non core background so these are also of pretty decent salary uh, who who are not interested in ec so coming to uh, my my career path i had done btech in uh, a tier 2 college and from there i could uh, i had written gate uh, my career uh, interest was this i had uh, gone through this path i had done my uh, my mtech in a good college in an, an in nit and from there i got placement in one of these semiconductor companies this was my career path so you can choose any of uh, any of the paths mentioned here any of the options mentioned here and uh, decide one option as career so uh, think well go uh, go through all of these options and uh, as i had uh, personally gone through uh, these options i had uh, pretty decent knowledge on these uh, on all of these options from core background so if you want to know anything more about these options you can comment below i can um, if it is of more information i can make one more video or i can explain you uh, i can answer you in the comments like if you have any doubts so as this is your future think wise uh, uh, know your interest if, uh, and if you want really want to go to core side after ec go there uh, pursue your career in one of these options or go, uh, if you are not interested there are some other options also if you had done ec uh, in btech it is not only that um, Uh, you you should uh, pursue career in only these options that is the advantage of ec like you can go to core side or if you are not interested in core you can go to non core where you have many many options in uh, non core side if you are not interested in ec background but if you are interested in core side these are the pretty good options that you have and very um, good future out there so choose wise think well and decide on an option and prepare well so as this is uh, this will be throughout your future or uh, the job throughout your future so think wise and decide on the option uh, if you want more videos like this subscribe to my channel thank you